All right, guys, let's get a quick look at this 1972 Chevy Impala project. This car is a one owner car that had been sitting in a storage for years and years. We took it out, got her running, got her cleaned up, went through the brake system and decided to sell it as a project. When I tell you that the car has been sitting up for years, I truly mean it. The car still has bias ply Sears tires on it. They hold air, they don't leak. But again, I'm selling this car as a project. At some point it's been painted. She does have orange peel in the paint. She's gonna need some interior work, but it's all there. The car had been undercoated at some point in life. Quarters are good. Trunk pan has actually been replaced. We'll put this car up on the lift and you guys will get to see as well that the floors are good. Even though there's replacement pans in the trunk, um, those came from the gentleman who found the car. Chrome is in good shape. But again, she's got orange peel. She's gonna need interior. All that good stuff. But it's a running and driving, solid start. We'll take a look at the bottoms of the doors. Like I said, we'll put this car up on the lift. Paint is chipped, but all the corners are good and solid. The top works on the car. The fabric is gonna need to be replaced, but it doesn't leak. It's just an old white top. Again, we don't try to hide anything from anybody. We want you to know exactly what you're buying. Windshield header is in great shape. 350 heat only car 1972 Chevy Impala getting toward the last of the big convertibles all right guys here's a quick look under the 72 Impala we're gonna take these old bias flies off of there so we'll put some radials on it frames nice car has been under coated at some point floors are actually pretty solid there's that one little line developing there good solid start for somebody 1972 Chevy Impala car runs and drives well it still has the original two barrel carburetor. We gave it a good cleaning. Made sure all the turn signals and lights are working. 